Good evening, everyone. The search for answers is on after two people were killed yesterday during a Mercy flight training mission. We have team coverage tonight. News Force Marley Tuscus shows us how important Mercy flight has been to Western New York's hospital systems. But first, we go to News Force Chris Servatas. He has the latest details from investigators on the scene in Elba. Chris? Good evening. The investigative team, which includes the NTSB, is expected to be here on scene in Elba for three or five days. We have learned that the wreckage from this helicopter crash will be on its way to a facility in Delaware. Norton Road still closed tonight as the search for answers is very much on. What we're looking at, we're looking at the human, the machine, and the environment. On the side of Norton Road in Elba, this is the wreckage of that Mercy Flight helicopter. The NTSB says it left the Genesee County Airport for a training mission at about 11.15 Tuesday morning. At 1, the investigator says witnesses heard a boom and then saw the Bell 429 helicopter fall from about 2,000 feet up. Somewhere during this process, and we don't know which occurred first, the tail boom that, has the, that contains the tail rotor uh, separated from the helicopter and was found 300 feet from the main wreckage. Mercy Flight pilot James Sauer and Bell helicopter pilot Stuart Dietrich both died in the crash. Uh, the crash dynamics are very complicated. Aerodynamic forces, things of that nature. So we're going to be looking very closely at you know what could possibly happen. A former state police pilot, James Sauer, known as Jim to his friends, was also a member of the New York Army National Guard. He even served in Afghanistan for a time. This is video of his final flight in 2020. I just remember meeting him for the first time. I'm like, this is a good human being. Todd Baxter is the sheriff in Monroe County, where Rochester is. He knew Sauer when they worked in the Rochester Police Department together. Baxter says Sauer had a service attitude, and he offered up this story. We're doing a... Uh... Uh, a thing with a kid that has autism here in Rochester, made him the sheriff for the day. We found out the young man had an affinity towards aviation. One phone call to Jim, uh, and I was at the aviation headquarters for uh, for Rochester for the state police. And before I know it, Jim's on the ground inside a, a helicopter car on all fours with this kid, and they're making noises on the joystick of the helicopter as they pretend they're both flying it together. And Baxter and Sauer also attended church together, most recently on Easter. Baxter was back at the church yesterday after he learned of Sauer's passing. Jim was a man of faith, and, and yesterday at church we're we're rejoicing. At the same time, we're we're mourning, and uh, you know we believe he's in heaven right now. He's he's he's, he's dancing uh, with the angels, and and he's going to be there waiting for us. And now Baxter says it is important for everyone to be there for Sauer's family as they go through this. It is not going to give us all of the answers we're looking for, but the NTSB is expected to publish a preliminary report in about 10 days. Reporting live in the town of Elba, Genesee County, Chris Hervatitz, News 4.